Hi everybody, Menachem Brody here with you once again from Human Vortex Training, your certified and experienced USA Cycling expert level coach and strength and conditioning coach here today to talk a little bit about hydration and keeping your blood volume up on the bike while you're out riding. Now one of the things that I've been doing over the last couple of years is moving towards separating nutrition and hydration. So this is something a, a mentor or two of mine have been doing for a lot longer and uh, found very useful, especially as the riders have gone up from the amateur Cat 3, Cat 4, all the way up to Cat 2, Cat 1 uh, and racing internationally. I found that when we separate nutrition and hydration, it really allows the athlete to perform a lot better. So we're going to talk a little bit today about your blood uh, volume, specifically blood plasma volume and how to keep that up and why sodium is not necessarily the answer. So one of the things we're going to talk about, uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is using something like Noon. This is one uh, specific product that I like that works for me. You need to find what works for you. Another product that works for me that I'm just out of right now is the Osmo Nutrition uh, and also the Secret Drink Mix. Now something that's interesting is you'll notice a lot of these uh, up and coming, so to speak, drinks are very low on calories. Uh, they have a little bit of sucrose and a little bit of glucose in them uh, and that's interesting because these individuals who are developing these products have been out in the field and working. So um, Alan, Alan Lim is one, as well as Stacy Sims is the other. So that secret drink mix is Alan Lim and Osmo is Stacy Sims. And what they found is that uh, over the years, the research has shown that in order for us to actually be able to bring in the electrolytes into our body, we need a little bit of glucose and sucrose. Fructose is not very good. It's not broken down very well by the body. It's not absorbed very well especially women. Actually, uh, the absorption rate for women is very low as compared to men, so females, you wanna try and stay away a little bit from the fructose, especially on the ingredients. But one of the things that a lot of people mistake, and we've been kind of fighting the uphill battle here the last uh, half decade at Human Vortex Training, is that sodium is not uh, necessarily the answer if you're looking at dehydration in a race. Now, how is that possible? Well, uh, sodium is responsible for helping you with the blood plasma volume. So when the blood plasma falls, such as a, a female, uh, during the second half of her cycle, luteal phase, her blood plasma can fall up to 8% and that can have a huge negative impact on performance as just a 2% decrease in your blood plasma volume can lead to an, a 10 plus percent decrease in your VO2 max power output. So think about that, that's huge. And women are looking at 8% in that second half, the luteal part of their, of their cycle. Uh, for guys, uh, a lot of men tend to focus a lot on sodium as well. We see tons of athletes taking salt tablets and it's sodium chloride. The problem is, is that sodium chloride isn't necessarily, you know, table salt is not necessarily the best option for you to be able to bring in uh, sodium into the body. It's only uh, going to bring it in much later in the digestive process. So if you guys watch the uh, coaches uh, sports drink mix, we do use table salt, but something that we've added the last couple of years is baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. And sodium bicarbonate is very important because that's actually going to help uh, bring you in as a precursor for the ATP PC or short powerful energy system. Uh, it's going to help you get the uh, kickstart for that if you will. Whereas sodium citrate, which you're going to have here, uh, both in noon has uh, sodium bicarbonate, uh, sodium carbonate, and then you have in the goo sodium citrate. These are, the sodium citrate is a precursor for the aerobic energy system, so something you're going to use over time. You can add sodium uh, bicarbonate with baking powder. You have to be careful though, there is an uh, upper limit toxicity to that. Or you can add sodium citrate, which you'd have to go out and purchase uh, a little bit separately. Although you can get it at most baking shops, will have sodium citrate. You should add these in a little amount into your uh, homemade sports drink if you're using it, because this is going to help you actually be able to, to bring in those electrolytes in through the small intestine uh, as well as allow you to have a little bit less GI upset. Although again, with uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, if you have too much, you can actually cause gastrointestinal upset uh, or uh, runner's gut, if you will, uh, which can lead to not good things. So you want to be careful with that. Uh, the other thing is, so we, we talked about the blood volume and the blood plasma and how uh, sodium helps with that, but outside of the blood plasma, Potassium, potassium is what the key is to be able to bring water into the, any other water compartments in the body. 
So anything except for the blood plasma, we need potassium. So really important, a lot of people, those salt tabs, they're saying, I'm, I've been taking salt tabs and it helped for a little bit, but now I'm still having uh, issues of getting dehydrated or finishing uh, really down because my sweat rate is high. And that's because they aren't getting enough potassium. We need sodium, potassium, and a little bit of magnesium in trace amounts uh, in our sports drink enable for us in order to enable us to be able to really reap the benefits of having these sports drinks. Now, what's, you, what's interesting is that most of the stuff on the market, like Gatorade, uh, comes with a 6 to 12 percent carbohydrate uh, solution. The problem with that is, is that's going to actually uh, delay or defer uh, our ability to intake our electrolytes. It's going to cause issues. We really want between a 2 percent and 4 percent carbohydrate uh, drink mix. So that's where I have secret drink mix. You have Osmo, you have Noon. Noon actually has, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it only has uh, one carbohydrate in the whole thing, which is what I found works for me. But uh, two to four percent. So if you're buying Gatorade, if you can get it in the powder form and just cut it down, so whatever the recommendation is as far as a scoop per water, uh, you do a quarter of that for the scoop and more water, uh, that'll bring it down to about a two percent, uh, one and a half, two percent carbohydrate mix. Uh, or you can look for Noon or Osmo or the secret drink mix, which is going to be a little bit further down on those, on those calories for the water. So really what we're looking at is to decrease the amount of calories we're taking in through the water. That being said, like I said a minute and a half, two minutes ago, you need sucrose or glucose in small amounts in order to aid the absorption of those electrolytes in the small, small intestines. So if you're just drinking water and you don't have uh, sucrose or glucose in, in that uh, drink mix, you're not going to get as much of the electrolytes out of it. And that's part of the reason why salt tabs don't solve that issue necessarily. However, salt tabs used with one of these products or a secret drink mix that works for you with sodium bicarbonate, sodium citrate, some potassium, uh, trace amounts of magnesium, that can actually work really well, especially if you're a heavy sweater like myself. So you'll notice here it's getting a little bit warmer out. Uh, it's a spring, so we're just starting to get into uh, warmer weather. I'm sweating a little bit heavier as I normally do when it gets into the 60s and 70s. Uh, I tend to like mid-60s personally. That's where I perform best. But once it gets in the 70s, 80s, as it's starting to now, I sweat a little bit more. So for me, a combination of a half a salt tab with a noon and a little bit of sodium bicarbonate, uh, putting some baking soda into that uh, homemade sports drink mix really helps me be able to perform better. So that's something that you guys should really consider as you're thinking about uh, how do I keep my performance up and stay hydrated. It's not just table salt. Don't just use table salt. There's sodium citrate, sodium bicarbonate. Again, sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. Just be very careful, do your research, or just purchase a product uh, such as Osmo or the Secret Drink Mix uh, or Noon that will help you guys be able to balance that out. So I hope this is helping you guys be able to fuel properly or better for your races and your rides. So if you're going out and you notice you're cramping a lot, look at your sports drink. Well, number one, are you just grabbing a bottle off the shelf or just following the instructions? What's the percentage of carbohydrates in that? Uh, is there fructose in that? We should have sucrose and, and glucose. So those are the two that we really want. Uh, also, is it sodium bicarbonate or sodium citrate? So here in our goose, we have maltodextrin, which is a complex carbohydrate, water, fructose, which is the third, not so great, uh, leucine, which is an amino acid, which we'll talk about in a different uh, video, citric acid, sodium citrate, potassium citrate, natural flavors, calcium bicarbonate. So uh, carbonate. Uh, valine, which is our valine, which is another amino acid, sea salt, green tea extract, which is caffeine, gelatin, uh, gelan gum, which is um, an emulsifier, a thickener, isoleucine, which is another amino acid, it's a branch chain amino acid like the other two, sunflower oil, sodium benzoate, which is a preservative, so, uh, potassium sorbate, which is a preservative, an extract of paprika for color. So you can hear, the first thing we have is a complex carb, water, fructose, again, not that great, uh, leucine and amino acid, citric acid, and sodium citrate, and potassium citrate. So there, right there, you have the electrolytes. But it is important to read your labels. This is really important, not just for you to be able to manage your weight, but also for you to be able to find the best nutrition products for yourself. So if you're having trouble with cramping, think about what type of sodium are you getting? Are you just putting table salt in or are you using sodium bicarbonate, sodium citrate? What's in your nutrition product? Try changing up the nutrition product and see what works for you. Uh, a number of riders and triathletes actually that I've had here have switched gels because they found that the sodium bicarbonate, uh, at least that's my conclusion uh, from what they were using, the ingredient list, the sodium bicarbonate on the gels that worked for them were much lower. And the ingredients are listed as to what's the, the 
biggest to smallest uh, contributor for ingredients. So we found that their sodium bicarbonate, or the gels that had lower sodium bicarbonate, actually allowed them to perform better and not have uh, upset stomach. So a lot of considerations, as you can tell, I can go on for 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour about this stuff, but we'll stop it there for today. So remember to check your nutrition products and think, don't just think sodium, think what type of sodium, as well as potassium and trace amounts of magnesium in order to help you guys be able to perform better and keep your fluids up in your body so you don't see that decrease in performance. Until next time, remember train smarter, not harder, and it is all about you.